Who said there is nothing new under the sun? One of the hottest innovations for non-polluting generation of electricity is floating photovoltaics, or FPV, which involves anchoring solar panels in bodies of water, including lakes, reservoirs, and seas. Some projects in Asia incorporate thousands of panels to generate hundreds of megawatts. FPV got a head start in Asia and Europe, where it makes a lot of economic sense with open land highly valued for agriculture. Floating solar projects are even more attractive when they can be built on bodies of water adjacent to hydropower plants with existing transmission lines, according to Sika Gonzaku, a researcher at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory in Colorado. In countries that depend again on a lot of hydropower, there's concerns around what does power generation look like during droughts, for example. And with climate change, we expect that we'll see more extreme weather events. And so when we're thinking about droughts, there is the opportunity to then have FPV as another renewable energy option in your uh, toolkit, essentially. So instead of depending so much on hydro, now you can use more FPV, reduce your dependence on hydro during like very dry seasons, use your flowing so, uh, photovoltaics. Floating solar systems have another benefit. They reduce light exposure and lower the water temperature, minimizing harmful algae growth. That all sounded rather promising to officials in the town of Windsor in Northern California's wine country. 5,000 solar panels are now floating on one of Windsor's wastewater ponds. The floating panels are easy on the environment and Windsor's budget in which the wastewater plant's electric bill was the town government's largest, says council member Deborah Fudge, who pushed for the 1.78 megawatt project over an alternative of putting solar panels atop carports. They offset 350 metric tons of carbon dioxide yearly, and they also provide 90% of the power that we need for all of the operations for treating wastewater, for all the operations at our corporation yard, and also for pumping our wastewater to the geysers, which, which is a geothermal field about 40 miles north. The town leases the floating panels from the company that installed them, which gives it a set price for electricity on a long-term contract, meaning Windsor is paying about 30% of what it previously spent for the same amount of power. That made gaining constituents approval easy, says Windsor's mayor, Sam Salmon. It's not like we've invested in something we're not going to get a payback. We're getting a payback as we speak and we'll get a payback for 25 years. This lake in Virginia is one of about 25,000 bodies of water in the United States identified by the government as suitable for FPV placement. Floating panels covering one fourth of the area of each of these sites would potentially generate nearly 10 percent of America's energy needs. Steve Herman, VOA News at Smith Lake in Stafford, Virginia.